There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. So glad there is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood. Of the land, so glad there's power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Amen. Just want to say praise the Lord to the saints of God, thanking God for bringing us up to another Bible lesson night. Do thank the Lord for all things in His great name, thanking God for being able to report victory over sin. Amen. And we would like you all to touch and agree as we pray for the one that's on the prayer list. And we'll be praying for Deacon Billy Hill, Mother Beatrice Marker, Mother Lily Thomas, Reverend Irene Rocker, Reverend Nona Keel, Brother Patrick Manasseh, Bishop and Mother Tate, Brother Willie Fair, Bishop Baker, Brother Fonzo Jackson and family, the Robbins family, the Anderson family, Elder Luvenia Carlton, Mother Ruthie Hall, Alicia William, Sister Brenda Lockett, Sister Loretta Kendrick, Charlene Hall, the Joan and Betts family, Jerome Milton, Mother Robbins, the Lane family, Overseer Bridget Anderson, Reverend Sister William of St. John AOH Church, Bishop Quillis Mitchell, Bishop Lawrence William, Bishop Redmond and family, and Brother Ricky Reed, Sr. Amen. Let us pray. Thanking you, O God, right now for all things in your great name. Thanking you, O God, Lord Jesus, for all your many blessings you have bestowed upon us. Lord, we come into you at this time with bowed down heads and humble hearts, asking your God to go in every sick room to touch and heal in, a, in the name of Jesus. Asking your God to let all of your healing scriptures be applied right now from Genesis to Revelation. Lord, we know you to be a healer. Lord, we know no other help but you to help us in this time of need in the name of Jesus. Asking your God to look on the ones that have fever. You're able to speak, Lord Jesus, and it'll be gone. Asking your God, Lord Jesus, those that's in pain, Lord, speak healing right now in Would your you? great name. Lord, we know you can do it, Lord, because you did it in time past. Asking your God to look on all the bereaved families, Lord. Encourage their heart and uplift their spirit. Oh, God, let them know you're able to take them through this in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Asking you, Lord, right now to look on the ones that unsaved. Asking your God to give them a mind to run for their lives before it's a time too late. Oh, God, we know you to be a savior, Lord. Lord, because you saved us. And we know if you do it for us, you can do it for them before it's a time too late. Oh, God, look on our pastor right Amen. now. Asking your God to touch him from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. Oh, God, we speak healing right now in healing, the name of healing, Jesus. Healing. Oh, God, remove all pain, all stiffness, Lord. Lord, you made his body, Lord Bloody Jesus. Jesus. Lord, we Bloody know Jesus. what you can do in the name of Jesus. Lord, yes. that's your servant in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, Lord Jesus, right now, we're thanking you right now for what you already done, Lord. Oh, yeah. Because we know we can give you the praise and give you the honor and give you the glory. Lord, these and other blessings we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Bishop Curtis. Amen. We're here by the womb in his side. We are here by the womb. In his side, we are healed by the wound in my Savior's side. We are healed by the wound in his side. We are healed by the wound 
in his side. We are healed by the wound in his side. We are healed by the wound in my side. We are healed by the wound in his side. You just got to believe Amen. that you're already here. Amen. Call those things that be not All right. as though they were. Let's continue to lean and depend on the Lord Jesus. Yes. God is a good God. And we are praying for all of the sick and shut in. Praying for the bereaved family. Amen. Those who in poverty, we're praying that God bring you out. That husband that's looking for a good job. <clears throat> we know that they able, know that the Lord is able to deliver that mother that is on the family. Yes. I'm praying for you also. God is truly, he's a good God. And he's worthy to be praised. We do honor the Lord. And we thank God for all the ministers here and elsewhere. Thank God for our deacon, brothers, trustees, mothers, missionary saints, and friends. Thank God for you. Amen. You and you. <clears throat> thank God for those uh, that were gently one of the good ministers that I know. And even we appreciate your brother letting me know what to do Amen. about my need. Yes, yes. And we thank God that you are still listening so far away, but you still have our program in mind. And don't ever think that we have forgotten about you, but we Amen. love you wherever you are. Amen. We thank God for all things in Jesus' name tonight. We are going into the Word of God. We are trying to do apostolic. Night. Amen. Amen. Trying to bring you something that you need in the apostolic way. <clears throat> and tonight we're looking first at First Peter 1, 15 and 16. And it reads as such. But as he which has as called he, you is holy. But as he which has called you is holy. So be ye holy. Now this is in the New Testament. Amen. Telling you be ye holy. So in, be ye holy. In, in all, all manner of conversation. Manner of conversation. Because it because is written. It is already written. Be ye holy. Be ye holy. For I am holy. For I am holy. It's already written. Be ye holy. For I am holy. And the Lord means just what he said. Amen. God still requires holiness. God still requires holiness. Amen. Whether we live holy or not, God is required. <clears throat> and I believe you must become holy if you intend to go back with Jesus. Amen. When he comes briefly, he's, and he's coming back. Yes, he's coming back again. For those who are living a holy and a sanctified life. Amen. He's coming back to judge the world. In order for you to live in the manner that he wants you to live, you must live a holy life. Amen. Hallelujah. Because the Lord said, be holy, for I am holy. Amen. <clears throat> Years and years ago, I never will forget, you know, when I first started, I started visiting the church in 69, I joined in 70. I never will forget that so many folk, you know, fought against holiness. They fought against holiness. Now I hear that a lot of them are preaching holiness now in all denominations. All right. And that is a blessing. Yes, sir. That is a blessing. God just didn't call just those people who call themselves the holiness church, but he called everybody. He's calling you into holiness. He's 
calling you from uncleanliness right. unto cleanliness. Hallelujah. Unto order. Yeah. God is truly good. He's a merciful God. He's a kind God. <clears throat> and he's a just God. And the Lord lived. He loved all of us the same. That's right. Yeah, you don't make any difference in any of us. Sure, yeah, you can become holy too. Yeah. I, I hear a lot of ministers think, well, you cannot be, you, you, you can't just be holy. Yes, you can. All right. God never would have told you to be holy if you couldn't be. That's right. Amen. Yeah, God won't put no more on you than you can bear. Yeah. It's easy to become holy. Yeah, stop doing all the wrong things that you are doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you don't have to do those things that you know. You don't have to commit adultery, fornication. You don't have to be an alcoholic. You don't have to do drugs and and all those things that cause you to act up. Mm -hmm. You can live just like God said. All right. God told you how to do it. Hallelujah! In the Old Testament, and you can do it now because He left His Spirit. For you to receive. If you receive the Spirit of God, you find out how easy it is for you to live holy. Because He will live in you. Amen. If they just one and four say, according as He has chosen yes, us yes. in Him before, before the foundation the of the world, word, that we should be holy and without blame before, before Him. Hallelujah. Before Him in love. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, God is requiring us to live a holy life. He hasn't changed. That's right. Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. Yeah, he's looking for us because he has chosen us. Yes, sir. He chose you and me. All right. And the key is for you to accept, hallelujah, holiness. Accept the Lord Jesus Christ. Just actually just do what he has told us to do in the word of God and you find yourself making it. You find yourself living it. You find yourself getting to be a better person. Mm -hmm. and, and so many of you want to become better. Yeah, you, you're searching for a better life. You, 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 you want to do better towards your family. You want to do better on your job. You you want to uh, do a better thing holy in the city, in your neighborhood, wherever you are, you want to do better. Amen. And simply become holy. Yeah. Yeah. Simply receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And you find yourself living just like God wants you to live. You find yourself Hallelujah, getting better and better at the things that you do. Yeah, God called us yes, sir. into holiness before the foundation oh, of the world. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And he means exactly what he said. Mm -hmm. Don't ever let nobody fool you and make you think that you cannot live it. You just got to deny all the wrong things that you've been doing in the world. I don't know. You can't live. You can't love sin and think you're going to continue with the Lord. Amen. God told you not to do those things. Leave it alone. That's right. Leave it alone. It 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 may take you some time to get better, but you ought to start working on it. Lord, let you work hard on it. Work hard on In it. In the name. Sanctify yourself, and the very God of peace will sanctify you holy. God is a good God. That we should be holy and without blame before Him in love. God is good. Hallelujah. You know, I wouldn't go another way. No, I wouldn't live any other way. I enjoy living a holy life. I thank God that I can wake up without headaches, wake up without being sick, All right. wake up and do the things I want to do, especially on Saturday. Friday night was a bad time for me yes. when I was a young man. But I want you to know that God will deliver you. Yes. Thank God. God delivered me back in, in 70 
we need to live. And I want you to know, here we are where we are right now, about 51 years, about 51, almost 52, 51 years, God has kept me. God is a keeper. Those of you who think you cannot make it, you can't do it, yes, you can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I live holy All right. before I got married. Yeah. I live holy after I got married. Never, never did the thing that went against God's commandment. Have done it. And, and, and then we don't want to do it. Hallelujah. I done grow, uh, grown so in the Lord. Hallelujah. It's all about Jesus. No, 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 don't, don't ever think that someone can trick you into it. No, that's why we receive the Holy Ghost. Amen. Oh, are you glad that you received the Holy Ghost? Amen. You ought to be glad. And those of you who do not have it, you ought to seek diligently at food. If you're ashamed, then carry it home. You're ashamed, go in your backyard. You can carry it by yourself. Amen. Whenever you meet the condition, God will fear you. Amen. Hebrew 12 and 14 tells us that follow peace with all meaning and holiness without which no man see shall that. see the Lord. Amen. Follow peace. That's right. You ought to be a peaceful individual. Amen. You shouldn't be causing confusion all the time. You ought to be uh, calm on your job. You ought to be uh, calm in, in the stores. Hallelujah. And, and sometimes when you see things going to go, get out of all this time, I don't want to talk about it. All yeah, right. It's warm. And let's not talk about it because it's going right. to stir up something in me. Yeah. Sometimes just don't talk about it. Hey, just leave it alone. Is that right? Amen. Because you got to follow peace with all men. All it doesn't right. matter what color they are, who they are, how they live. They can be some of the worst men in the world. But you just follow peace. Yeah. And it can be done. All right. It can be done. Amen. Down through the years, I have dealt with some mean men. Hallelujah. Mean. And and, and somebody would say it like this. Uh, well, we ain't going to say it. That's uh, right. But <laughs> they, right. they're terrible men. All right, Pastor. But God is able to keep you in their midst. You don't have to come down to their level. Stay up there where you are. And when you find that something is in you, right. pray about it. Sometimes you can feel something kind of rise up in you. When you feel that thing rise up in you, plead the blood. Yeah. Hallelujah. Get rid of it. Say the blood of Jesus. The yeah. blood of Jesus. Yeah. Call Jesus. Say Jesus. Jesus. Amen. You got to resist the devil. And if you resist the devil, the Bible says he'll flee from you. Amen. And if you're holy and sanctified, you know when the devil is approaching you. You know when he's trying to get you to go back. Hallelujah. Just resist him. Fight against him. Tell God about him. Start praying. Hallelujah. Do your best. Do your best praise Amen. at that time. Hallelujah. And God will help you. Yeah, you got to uh, you got to follow peace with all men. Amen. And holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. God is still requiring us to live holy. God still requires us. He has never stopped. Don't okay. let nobody fool you. Don't let them come up with a new teaching mm -hmm. to try to trick you to go back. The enemy is not, he, he's not happy going down by himself. All right. It's his intention to take some of you with him. And some of you are those who are living holy right now. I see so many folk now Lord, that's going know. back. Sometimes it looks like they don't know what's happening to them. Hallelujah. But the enemy, before you know it, the enemy be done fooled them. Then, before you know it, they say, well, I went out and did this and God's going to forgive me. Then before long, as I 
when I did that, then God gonna forgive me. Then be doing one thing after another. God is a forgiving God. But you got to be sincere Amen. about this life. It's nothing to clear with. Lord, Hallelujah. Lord, God is an all-wise God. He's all wise. He know all. He knew the very intent of your heart. Hallelujah. The Bible teaches us to abstain from all the appearance of evil. Amen. Anything that looks evil, you ought to, hallelujah, you should get away from it. Leave it alone. Huh? Amen. And the enemy has planted this in people's mind that they can do whatever they want to do. That's not the way holiness used to be. Folk tried to live holy and right every day. Those who were really trying. Every day of their life, they tried to stay away from anything that was wrong. Now, they said, well, I'm going to do it, and I'm going to forget. I'm, I'm going to do it and forget about it. I did it, and then I'm, what, what I'm going to do, I'm going to ask God to forgive me. Now, you can't, you, you can't go before God and forget about what you have done, done the time you are doing it. And then when you get up, then you say, I'm going to ask God to forgive me. I know we forget a young minister. We all used to deal together. Young minister told us, he said, you know, he, he did something wrong. And after he got through, the devil told him, said, well, you better repent of it. The devil told him, I'm trying to live in the devil, the walking devil, Yay. told him, <laughs> said, you, said, you need to uh, repent. The devil, sometimes the devil knows. All right, Pastor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the devil knows. He, he knows, and he or she knows. Know what you did, and at the time he was supposed to have been a minister, and, and that's who the devil want to fool with those ministers. God told you how to live, and you got to live it. I don't care how the other person, you know, put pressure on you to do things. Best thing to do is walk away from them, leave them alone. Hallelujah. Let them see and do what they, ever they want to do. Amen. But don't let them trick you or fool you into sin. Sin will bring you down every time. It doesn't matter who you are. Right. It doesn't matter how strong you may consider yourself to be. Sin is going to bring you down. Righteousness exalts a nation. Right. But sin is a reproach to any people. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know about you, but I'm so glad that God saved me, and he saved me in the right manner. Follow peace with all men. All right. Hallelujah. And holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Without holiness, you will not see the Lord. That's what the scripture just said. Read it for yourself. Hebrew 12 and 14. Read it for yourself. Romans 12 and 1 tell us, he said, I beseech you therefore, brother, yes. by the mercy of God, that ye present your body. Present your body. You got to live it in this body. All right. Hallelujah. Don't ever think you say, well, I'm a I'm going to live as good as, as best I can now, and I, I finish up in the grave. Yeah, you're going to finish there. Yeah, all right. You're going to be finished when you go there. Well, however you have lived, that is the way you're going to die. God told you, he means right now, present your body, what, a living sacrifice. Present your body. Body a living sacrifice right. right now. Holy, mm -hmm. you got to live holy in this body. Amen. And acceptable unto God. God let us know. And what? Which is your reasonable service? Yeah. This is what you just ought to do. Amen. Yeah. Your reasonable service. God is requiring each and every one of us. If you're a church person, I don't care what church you belong to, 
Hallelujah. You say, well, I, 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 we don't think like that. We don't, right. you, you, you got to look at the word of God. You got to apply the word to your life. I don't care what church you're in. Hallelujah. You can call it any denomination church if you want. God is requiring you to live holy. Hold it right now. Mm -hmm. Which is your reasonable service. Just something you just should do. Amen. Amen. God required us to live a holy life. And somebody said, well, Pastor, I'm too old. No, no, you're not too old. Genesis 17 and 1. Hallelujah. I'm going to let Mother Curtis read that because you may think this Bishop Curtis said it. All right. Genesis 17 and 1 said. And when Abram and was when 90 Abram years was old. 90, Abram, he was an old man. Yes. 90 years old. And not. That was, that's 99 years old. Amen. Mm -hmm. The Lord appeared the Lord to appeared Abram. to Abram. And said unto him. And said unto him. I am the almighty God. God said I am the almighty God. Walk before me. God said walk before me. And be thou perfect. At 99 years old. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. Thank God for another chance. God let your blood cover. Oh but you still have another chance. He said walk before me. And be thy perfect. When one is living a perfect life, it's got to be a holy life. That's right. It has to be a holy life. That's the only way that I know that one can live a perfect life. You cannot live it unless you are holy. Amen. You need the Holy Ghost more than anything else. Hallelujah. You need you need to come to the altar and call on the name of Jesus. We just put it together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. While you wait, hallelujah, do something. Just don't be just waiting there. That's right. But call on his yes. name. Whosoever shall call on the name, on the name of the Lord yes. share. Every one of God yes. share. Come thank on. you. Thank you, minister. Thank you yes. for saying that years ago. Yeah. Every one of God shall come to pass. Come to pass. Yes, it does. Hallelujah. It does. Yeah, not only that, somebody said, I'm too young. I can't do it. I'm just too young. Hallelujah. But Jeremiah 1 and 5. Yes, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jeremiah 1 and 5 say what? To the young person. Yes. Now I'm speaking to you. Amen. Jeremiah before, 1 and 5 say, Before I found thee in the belly. God said, Before I found thee in the belly. I knew thee. He said, I knew thee. And before thou came forth before out of the womb. Before you came forth. Before you were born. Yeah. Out of the womb. Mm -hmm. I sanctified thee. God said, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee. A, a prophet, prophet unto the nation. Unto the nation. God is a good God. God was calling you. Yeah. Do you know that God called you before you were born? Mm -hmm. He knew you before you were born. He wanted you to live holy before you were born. Lord, Those you of you who are rejecting God, don't want him, God told John Jeremiah. If God told us to Jeremiah, he meant it for you too. Because yeah, God don't have no respect to person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before I formed you in the day, yes, sir. Is how I knew thee. Amen. Hallelujah. God sanctified us. God ordained us Amen. to be a prophet unto the nation. God made you righteous before you, you were ever born. All right, Pastor. And you ought to thank God that God thought about you. Hallelujah. Don't you thank God for it? Amen. If I were you, I'd be thanking God right now. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. I would be thanking him right now. For what he had done for me. God wants you to live holy. And he wants you to live right. Before everyone. Amen. Jesus Christ the same. Yesterday. Jesus Christ the same yesterday. Today and, and today and forever. Yes. Ever. Hebrews 13 and 8. It tells you that. Yes sir. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is. If he required 
those people to live holy and to do right, he's doing the same today. That's right. He's still requiring us to be holy. I'm almost through. Thank you, Jesus. But God wants you to do something. Yes, Lord. sir. God wants you to get up. Amen. Hallelujah. Get up and do something about your situation. You're tired of it. You know it's been hurting you. It's been harming you. Harming you and you're still going on yes, and on. Sir. Hallelujah. All you got to do is obey God's word. Amen. Hallelujah. No wonder David said, that word have I given in my heart. That I might not sin yes, against thee. Yes. God is a good God. Hide his word. In your heart. Let his word come to you. Thank you, Jesus. When God's word starts coming to you to chastise you, to rebuke you, you ought to welcome his word. Tell the Lord, thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah for considering me. Thank you. For speaking to me at a time like this when the enemy trying to take me, trying to take my life, Lord, trying to get me to go back, trying to me, get you. me to follow him instead of following you. You ought to stretch out on Jesus yeah. right then. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God is good. He's merciful and he's kind. No wonder Isaiah told him that Isaiah 35 and 8, he, hallelujah. He, he, he want us to be holy. Isaiah 35 and 8 said, well, And a highway shall be there. The Bible tells us about a highway. He said, And a highway shall be there. And a way. And a way. And it shall be called the way of holiness. The Bible tells us that it shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean. Yeah. The Bible tells us that, what we, that, that this way is called the way of holiness. Yes. Yeah. Regardless to what your church name, you ought to believe in holiness. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody said, well, I belong to this church. We believe this. But you ought to believe in holiness. This is a highway. It's higher than any other way. Yeah, it's higher than any other way. Why? Because we start off to tell you that God said that he is holy. Amen. If God is holy, then you ought to be holy. This is a highway. You just don't do the thing that those people are doing in the world. Some have said, well, y'all are doing the same. No, well, uh, uh, maybe some have, uh, you know, kind of uh, went the other way now. Maybe so. But there's somebody still right. living for God. Yeah. Just like God called us to do it. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is considered to be a new revelation. Amen. No, but it was way back. Yes, it was. Way back in the Old Testament. There's nothing new. Some people think it's new because the other religion was already operating when holiness, hallelujah, came back on the scene. Hallelujah. God is good. Amen. Yeah, he's very good. No wonder the Bible tells us, wash you, make you clean. Yes. So yes. put away the evil you. or you're doing before mine eyes. Yes, yes. And God told us, he said, cease to do evil. Yes. He said, learn yes. to do well. Yes. Seek judgment. Yes. Relieve the oppressed. Yes. Judge the fallen. All right. Plead for the widow. Yes. Then God says something that is profound. <laughs> he said, come now. And let us reason together. Say the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. He said, though your sins be yes. as scarlet, yes. hallelujah, they shall be yes. as white as snow. Yes. Yes. Though they be red like crimson, yes, sir. they shall be yes. as wool. If ye be with hallelujah, hey. hallelujah, glory Thank to God. you, Jesus. If ye be with and obedient, ye shall eat the good oh, of the land. Man. But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured with the sword. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken that God is calling you. Yes, yes. Did you hear the Lord calling you? Yes, sir. God is calling. Let me say it again. God is calling you from uncleanness unto holiness. Hallelujah. The apostolic way is the right way. Don't let nobody fool you. Thank you, Jesus. They're fooling so many now. Because they want you to go their way. Because they don't want to go by themselves. Hallelujah. But I, God has written it. God himself cannot go against his word. Because 
because his word is him. The Bible says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. Yeah. And the word was God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. In that same chapter, the 14th verse, and the word was made, was made flesh. flesh. Yes. Hallelujah. God is a good God. Yes, he's good. Jeremiah 6 and 16. Amen. God is good, ain't it? God, Jeremiah 6. I'm almost through. Thank God. Thus saith the Lord. The Bible said, Thus saith the Lord. Stand ye in the way. Said, Stand ye in the way. How many know it's many yes. ways? It's many ways. I, I won't even try to attempt right. to learn all of the ways. I don't have time for it. I'm trying to go deeper and deeper in God's word. I'm reaching out for more of his word. I'm reaching out for more of what God is requiring us to do. Lord, Hallelujah. I want to go higher, high, as high as I can. Yeah. I want to get so close to God, can't no air become between me and him. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Only thing I can do is wait for you till you come on. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. We're going somewhere. We're going somewhere. And we, when God comes, we want to be ready to go back with him. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I know that the way is right. Yes. Mm -hmm. I know that it's right. It's been tried. Hallelujah. And the way has what? Overcome every trial Amen. that was put before him. Thank you. I'm at the priest that one day. God is good. Thank you, Jesus. God is good. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But here in the word, God says what? Stand ye in the he way. Says, Stand ye in the way. And see. And see. And ask for the old path. Ask for the old path. Where's the good way? Where is the good way? And walk therein. When you see it, you ought to walk therein. And you God shall find good. rest. God said, Hallelujah. God said, if you if you walk therein, you're going to find rest. For your soul. Thus said the Lord. Yes. Stand ye in the way. Yes. Hallelujah. Too many different ways. That's right. If I were you, I'd come out of the world and leave it alone. And follow on the way that God has called us. Amen. Into. This highway. This highway is the highway of holiness. And the Bible let us know and ask for the old path. The old path. That's what you don't want today. All right. You don't want the old path. You want this new thing. See, this new thing is easy. All right. Mm -hmm. But you ought to ask for the old path. How did they used to do it? Lord, Lord. let your blood cover. Thank you, Jesus. I, I thank God for the old path. I never forget uh, Bishop Philip showing us a film. Well, this brother had died. I believe his name was Deacon Tucker. That's right. I believe he had died. All right. And there was an old saint got over in the bed with yes. him. He, 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 Bishop, Bishop was a great man. That's right. He, he made films. He, he had uh, businesses. Thank you, Jesus. He bought up land. He did things. He didn't have much when he started. That's but God right. blessed him. And he made this film and showed it to us in that sanctuary. How this brother had died and they knew he was dead. And they got over in the bed with him and prayed for him yes. and prayed for him. And he, honey, he, he got up. Yes. He got up from there and lived many years. I got to know That's him. That's right. Here, yeah, I got to know him myself. And all this evidently happened when he was young. Amen. God is truly good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. He's merciful and he's kind. The way is right. Yes. The way I'm trying to let you know that the way is right. So you won't what? You won't deviate from it. So you won't go another way. And you'll get closer to the way. I'm almost through. Thank God. Thank God. Mm -hmm. The Bible tells us, let me do the last part. The Bible says, they said we will not Whoa. walk. There is. There we Jesus, will not. Jesus. How many know they're still saying right. the same thing today? We walk. will not walk there again. When they turn their heads up, when they turn their nose up, when they go the other way, when they do things that is not pertaining to holiness, they're saying we will not walk there again. Doesn't matter who they are, church folk, preachers, whoever they are. 
they're saying that we will not walk therein. They want you to think that holiness is something else. Jesus. No, it's not. Holiness is just what God started out to, for it to be back then in the Old Testament. He's still calling for it in the New Testament. Holiness. Amen. Uh, let, let's go ahead and finish up with Luke 1, 74 and 75. Luke uh, 1, 74 and 75 said that he would grant unto us that we be that we delivered, delivered out of the hand of our enemies. I mean, know if we've been delivered yes, out of sir. the hands. When God has filled you with the Holy Ghost, yes. hallelujah, when God has you on the right road, a living holy, Lord, let you living good. right, and you're trying to get better and better, trying to improve as you go. You've been delivered Amen. out of the hand of our of enemy. And Might you serve, serve him without him, fear. Serve him. God wants you to serve him. How do we serve? By With serving humanity. Yeah. Hallelujah. Serve him. Come to church and worship and praise him. That's what we call serving. To but you ought to serve him without fear. In holiness. In holiness. In righteousness. That is where it is right now. In holiness and righteousness. Before him. Before him. All the days of our of life. Days, all the days. All the days. Of our life. Of our life. All you ought to see right now that the apostolic way is right. God wants you to serve him. You can't serve him in the world. You can't serve him ducking and dodging. You can't serve him with the blinds all closed in a dark place. You can't serve him living a untruth. You can't serve him in that manner. You got to serve him in righteousness. Again, righteousness exalts nation. But sin is a, is a reproach to any, any people. Uh, I think some weeks ago we were telling you whenever that female and a nation go down, nation. that nation is going Amen. down. Amen. Whenever, hallelujah, someone go wrong All right, Pastor. in the apostolic church or any other church, mm -hmm. before long that church is going down. I that house cannot stand. Amen. God is good. God is good. I, I, if you was here, hallelujah, right now, I tell you, let's praise the Lord. Yeah. Let's praise him. Let's praise him just a little while. Let's tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 You know that the way is right. Yes, sir. We do praise you, my Father, and we do honor you. And we thank you right now. For your word, Amen. your written word. Thank you for the revelation of your word. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord for all things in Jesus' name. Amen. We thank God for you this evening. We thank God for your patience. We thank you for watching so many times. My friends, way up north and out west, everywhere, every now and then, I get a little call from you. And I know that you all are still watching. And we love you, too. Definitely. We love you, too. Amen. Continue to watch. Hallelujah. When you come to Mobile, come and see us. Amen. When I come to your city, let me know that I'm welcome. And I come to see you also. Amen. Our time is about out. We're about ready to go. We thank God for you today. Continue to pray for me. And I'm going to continue to pray for you. May God may we bless you as our prayer. May the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet communion of the Holy Ghost. Rest, rule and abide with his people now, henceforth and forevermore. That all the people say, Amen. Amen. I love you more.